located on the National Highway 216, a two and a half hour drive from Urumqi, is the nerve center of the conservation efforts. The 600 hectare breeding center doubles up as an ecotourism center. Its success rests with a scheme by which the horses are released in stages, from a smaller enclosure to a larger one, and finally into the wild. With temperatures as low as minus 40 degrees in winter here, the horses are released in spring to acclimatize and learn how to search for food and water. The short ski horses are the world's last remaining species of wild horse. They're more stockily built compared to the domesticated horses. I could not make up their features standing from a distance in the nature reserve, so this is a unique opportunity to have that chance. These horses pack power in their 300 kilogram faintly striped bodies and legs, and here they're unbelievably affectionate towards humans. Though I prefer them running wild, breeding them is necessary for the survival of the species. We bid farewell to our furry friends and make our way towards Wu Tai Cheng that promises to be a kaleidoscope of geographical magnificence. It literally means five colored city, and I'm really excited at the thought of seeing this enigmatic landscape. How long have we got before we reach Wu Tai Cheng? Nearly 60 kilometers. Yeah? Uh -huh. I feel like about an hour? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, I can't wait. The landscape is really changing. So don't close your eyes. We feel like almost the only people in this part of Xinjiang. As the further we head out, the more scarcely populated it becomes. The roads are smooth, though not well paved. All in all, the conditions are ideal for true off-road adventure. I enter a space of magnificent red earth with coal that has been colored by nothing but solar power. In the early 20th century, people in Lubnor discovered a similar rock formation and called it Yardan which means deep mound in Uyghur. It's a term that's still used today by local and foreign geologists and archaeologists. Look, oh. we're on the top oh. of the oh. beautiful oh. city. Oh, from the colors. Oh, it's so we're different from here. Look at the colors all across. It looks so different. Oh, the, the sun just hitting on that, all that. Gorgeous color palette. This is what God had intended the world to be like. Yeah, yeah. Right? Credit God or nature for this. Besides the strong winds, there's rain. When it comes, it's torrential and brings flash floods, eroding the loose earth and fashioning this unique landform. Here, you have an unobstructed view with little human activity. Dust and dawn make for the most stunning shots. Factor in time on the road before it gets dark, or stay in the years one kilometers from this site, all part of Xinjiang's nomadic charm. We've experienced the wild beauty of the camels and horses, been humbled by this immense diversity of the landscape. From the ghost city to the kaleidoscope of colors here in Wu Taicheng, this part of Xinjiang is simply stunning. And we'll be heading up deeper north on our adventure. So see you on the road.